Hey everyone, so I'm about to check out of my hotel here in Montreal and just before I pack up and get going I thought I'd do a quick video showing what I packed for two nights in the middle of winter in Montreal. So this is my hotel Le Dauphin and you can look for a full review and walkthrough of the hotel over on the main Johnny Strides channel. And I've come to Montreal just for two nights. I bought a one dollar ticket on Porter Air. So of course we'll start with the winter coat here. And I stupidly didn't bring boots. There's my Albert shoes. At least they're weatherproof and somewhat warm. And of course I have the clothes that I'm wearing. Socks, jeans, Dr. Pepper t-shirt. I also have my lavalier microphone and a Rode Wireless Go in my pocket recording this. Well, the audio for this and the camera I'm holding, a DJI Pocket 2. will be more of the tech later. As far as toiletries are concerned, I have a portable shaver, some hair goop. I didn't even know I had that, so I threw it in as I was packing. Tooth cleaning stuff, some deodorant, lip balm in case I needed it. There's some nail clippers. And some q-tips inside that travel pencil case type thing as well. So I always travel carry-on only and I really wanted to just bring a backpack on this trip but I read that it was going to be very cold today and in fact it is. It's minus 26, minus 34 with the wind chill so I decided to bring the new Travel Pro carry-on which has proved to be excellent. And I love how small it is, so I brought that and this tiny backpack, which counts as my or personal item on the flight. And there are some socks and underwear behind the bag, which I won't show. I believe in doing these videos in somewhat good taste, <laughs> so you can just trust me. I brought those and I brought two pairs of thermal long underwear. I did overpack a little bit just because I had the luxury of extra space. I brought some extra warm gloves, which I actually have not needed. Some lighter, thinner gloves. I even brought my balaclava that I wear for making cycling and scooter videos in the winter. I've only got one pack of these left. I've been burning through them. I bought a whole bunch, brought a whole bunch. <laughs> my keys, of course couple of hats, my wallet, a really thick hoodie which I haven't worn. I might end up wearing that today. A long sleeve t-shirt and I've got some thermal track pants which I think I'll wear today. A long sleeve shirt that is clean and not yet worn and some thermal socks and the case that I put this camera in. Now on to the tech. A USB-C to HDMI cable. It's always good to be able to hook the computer up to the TV. Although I didn't end up using it on this trip. A 65 watt USB-C charger. So this will charge pretty much all my devices except the stupid iPhone. And that'll also power my laptop. And then I have a regular 20 watt fast charger that's also USB-C and I use this cable as well for data transfers. The gimbal for the live streams and I didn't need it because my Fitbit will easily last three days but Fitbit charging cable. My Samsung S20 noise cancelling headphones kind of a must for airplane travel these days. I also brought my Sony Link Buds S. So I've got a pair of Sony audio devices there. This has my Apple Lightning dongle in it. I also put the lav mic in there and there are some wind muffs. My backup Rode Wireless audio recorder. So I always record two audio tracks. I also use this one for the live streams. And I have a lightning cable and a splitter so this will allow me to charge the iPhone 
and plug a microphone in. So if I needed that on a live stream, that's what I would have used. And there's the Rode wireless receiver, which I use for the live stream. The iPhone 12, 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank. My second camera, I always bring two cameras. I just like not having to worry about charging one camera. It's better just to have a second one and I pull that out and record when I'm doing a longer recording session. A mouse. And of course, the laptop, which is quite powerful and I appreciate the dedicated GPU. It runs DaVinci Resolve, no problem, but Lenovo, you've got to put an SD card reader on these things. So because of that, I brought a USB-A and C type USB card reader or SD card reader. And I also have this mini one as well. So I brought both for some reason. And a portable hard drive. So when I record something, I transfer it onto the computer. Then I also back it up to the hard drive. And I tend to keep the hard drive separate from that in the backpack, just in case something goes wrong and I lose something. I still have a copy of all my recordings. And on that note, I also have my health card in there and a second credit card in a hidden compartment just in case, again, I lose my wallet or something. I'm not SOL. All right, so now I get to pack everything up and go check out. This hotel gave me a 1 p.m. checkout and it is 12.10. It's only going to take me two minutes to throw this stuff in the bags. Oh, someone's at the door. I will be back. And voila, it is all fit into those two bags there. Time to go hand these room cards in and check out. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And as always, I will catch you on the next one. Yoink.